And joining us today on our Book Talk segment, great to welcome, and has written a really fascinating book called Missing Microbes, How the Overuse of Antibiotics is Fueling Our Modern Plagues. We're joined today by a microbiologist, Dr. Martin J. Blazer from up in New York City today. And, uh, Doctor, thanks for joining us. Good to talk to you. How are you? My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Had a chance to, to read through the book. Always been kind of fascinated by uh, science and, and medicine and all that. And uh, I was surprised uh, about how uh, antibiotics uh, are kind of taken over in a ways, right, or, or not helping us as much as they used to. Well, antibiotics are great drugs. They're miraculous drugs, but we're overusing them. And uh, the, the, the people have known for a long time we're overusing them. But we found that there are some hidden costs to antibiotics that we didn't understand before. We were always concerned about antibiotics uh, selecting for resistant organisms, and that's still true, and that's still a big problem. But now we have more and more evidence that antibiotic overuse is contributing to the rise in our modern plagues, the epidemics of obesity and diabetes and juvenile diabetes, which is doubling every 20 years, asthma, food allergies, and the like. Yeah, I'd always heard uh, about antibiotics. Uh, they can that the uh, the viruses or whatever uh, become resistant after a while. The antibiotics have to become stronger. But uh, y your premise in the book, which is kind of <laughs> frightening in a way, uh, that that it's also contributing to these other diseases. That, that, that's a scary thought. Well, the, the the idea is this: in most of the of the cells in the human body are not human cells; they're bacterial cells. Seventy to ninety percent of all the cells in your body are bacteria. And these bacteria aren't accidental. They didn't just get there yesterday. You've had them since your early life, and you inherited a lot of them from your mom, and she inherited them from her mom, and it goes back since before we were humans. These bacteria are helpful to us. They're mostly good guys. They're helping train our immune system. They're um, helping us digest food and, and make vitamins. They're help protecting us against invaders. And but what's happened in recent years is that we're disturbing the equilibrium. We're, we're getting rid of some of our good guys. Some of them are disappearing. That's why I wrote Missing Microbes. I'm trying to sound an alarm that we are degrading our internal ecosystem, that, that we are losing critical bacteria, and that it is this that is fueling our modern diseases. Yeah, you talk in the book about almost too, being too antiseptic in some situations, right? I know even you talk about C-sections versus uh, regular birth, uh, how that has a big effect on this, right? Well, you know, we, we humans are mammals, and for the last hundred million years, mammals have been giving birth with the, the babies being born through the birth canal. And as they go through the birth canal, they're picking up their mom's bacteria. This is the way it's always been. And now we're doing more and more C-sections. Right now, a third of the births in the United States are by C-section. In some countries, it's half of the births. So these kids are, are starting life without doing it the way that our ancestors did it. And there's more and more evidence that this has cost us, that these kids are more likely to later develop problems like obesity or juvenile diabetes or celiac disease. So that, that's an example of how we're just doing too much. The, the real rate of C-section might be somewhere between 5 and 10 percent. Yeah, that's a, a large statistic, and like you, you describe in the book as well, being born, you want to call it the natural way or whatever, uh, you, you get certain bacteria that uh, at that particular time that, that protects you hopefully for the rest of your life, right, or at least through your childhood years that that's you don't right. get otherwise. That's it. That's it. This is happening on a big scale. It's no. not, we're not talking about rare events. A third of the babies born in the United States are born by C-section. Mm. And if we look at antibiotic use, we see that the average child in the U.S. is getting about four courses of antibiotics by the time they're three. And by the time they're 10, they've had 10 courses. And by the time they're 20, they've had 17 courses. So the, the antibiotic exposure is enormous. Now, in contrast, if you look at a country like Sweden, where the people are at least as healthy as we are, they're using 40% of the antibiotics we're using. So that when our child is using 10 courses by the age of 10, in Sweden it's, it's only four courses. Yeah. That immediately tells us that 60% of the courses are unnecessary. 
and the more antibiotics you use, the more the body becomes resistant to it, right? And it has less effect, well, right? Well, resistance is a different, that, that's a different concept. That's that the bacteria become resistant. So our concern is that, that we need our bacteria early in life to help our bodies develop normally. Uh, that there's a kind of choreography between the bacteria and our cells. They're talking to one another. They're partners. And, and we're messing this up just at the critical point in early life when everything's developed metabolism, immunity, even the development of the brain. Well, what's the answer, doctor? The, the C-section statistics pretty high. Uh, how, do you, how do you change that, or how do you get people to change that attitude? That's why I wrote Missing Microbes. I'm trying to change the national dialogue, the dialogue between patients and doctors, so that uh, parents who come in with a child with an ear infection, instead of leaving the doctor's office feeling deprived if they don't have an antibiotic, they should feel relieved. Uh, and uh, because most of the times that the child comes in with an ear infection, it's a mild infection. If, so, if a child has a severe infection, they should absolutely get antibiotics. There's no question about that. It would be a huge mistake not to. But most of the time, fortunately, the infections are mild. And if the doctor has enough time and can do a careful exam, they're going to say, you know, your child doesn't need antibiotics. And the parents, instead of being unhappy, they should be relieved because the doctor's done a careful exam and said that the child doesn't need antibiotics. So we've got to change the expectation of parents. We've got to figure out how to give doctors more time to do careful exams. And I've been working on educating doctors about the same kind of issues. Fascinating uh, topic. And again, I guess also uh, for parents-to-be or ones that are going to have a child within the next nine months, think again about the C-section. Unless it's an emergency or a situation where you have to do it, uh, maybe uh, discourage that from being performed, right? That's right. I mean, there are definite emergencies. C-sections are great operations, but not to the degree that we're using them today. Hmm. Well, it's a fascinating uh, topic called Missing Microbes, How the Overuse of Antibiotics is Fueling Our Modern Plagues. And uh, Dr. Martin J. Blazer has been our guest. And, uh, Doctor, I know the book just came out doing very well, but uh, do you have a website you can direct people to? Well, the, the publisher of Missing Microbes is Henry Holt, and they have a, a website. And you can read about it more at, on the online services, Amazon or Barnes & Noble. And, of course, you can get the book in your local bookstore as well. Great. Doctor, pleasure talking for a few minutes, and we we'll look forward to doing it again sometime. Thanks for being with us. Thank, thanks for your attention.